Moin! Welcome back to the channel. It's Mace, your friendly amateur Canadian. Here we go, another reaction. It's going to be a bit of a different video for today. We're going to look at crashes on the Autobahn. Now, this can be a disturbing subject for some people or a triggering subject, I suppose, for anybody that's been maybe injured in an accident or things like that. Uh, I find crashes fascinating, and I'm going to evaluate these crashes from a Canadian perspective. I'm here on the West Coast, and I've been in a horrific accident. Uh, well, I guess I wouldn't say horrific. I would say a lucky accident. Lucky meaning that I didn't die. <laughs> I was very lucky in the accident that I was in. I was, I was T-boned on the highway. Uh, and I'm interested if there is situations in where people do get T-boned on the Autobahn. I'm hoping not because it's just a really stupid design of our particular highway system on the island that I'm on, Vancouver Island, on our central inland highway. There is many points where there is traffic lights where people can cross the highway. And usually they have to sit there and wait for a few minutes to cross and then for the people on the highway, the light will go yellow. Um, in this particular instance, I was going to work and I had to cross the highway to get the other side to get to work. The light was green. I went and a guy tried to run the red light on the highway and, and to the hospital I went. Um, yeah, so let's take a look. Uh, I'll evaluate these. Everything's looking good right now. So he's going fast. He's in the he's in the fast lane. My guess is somebody's going to be stupid, not paying attention, not checking their mirror sufficiently, and they're going to pull out in front of him. There you go. So I know the speed limits and everything are different. In Canada, you'd probably be speeding if you're the person that's driving here. Uh, but in my opinion, it's that vehicle's fault. The one that pulled out in front of him. Hey, Alter, man. Probably get a copy right now. <laughs> Oh my. So now this causes a big hazard, right? Whenever there's a crash on a highway because these guys got to pull over. It's just adding extra chaos. God. So, okay. Okay, everything looks good. In the fast lane, we're going. Are they just going to crash on their own? <laughs> I keep thinking one of those vehicles in the right lane is going to pull in front of them. Uh, oh. I would... It's got to be a problem going too fast. There was obviously an incident or something going on in, in ahead on the highway. So vehicles were stopping, coming to a slowdown. Maybe there was an accident. Maybe there was a death. Maybe there was a crash. Three hundred twenty-five kilometers. 
It's just... <laughs> And you can't slow down fast enough at that speed. Okay, where's the crash? Oh, he's got the shifting pedals on the steering wheel. Where's the crash? There it is. What happened? How did he lose control of the vehicle? Couldn't even see. Horrible filming. The cameraman sucks. But... Uh, that was probably a bad crash at that speed. And then going off the road, they probably rolled over. I don't know. That does not look... That does not look good. I believe those guys probably passed away. That's pretty awful. But I don't know. I hear police sirens. There's police sirens, get out of the way. What's going on here? What? Who's the police? Is it the guy filming? Or what? what's even happening? They're chasing this guy? What? I don't understand. going on here I believe that vehicle up there is gonna crash that's gonna be the crash caught on camera What's going on? They lost it. So we got a police officer filming here and somehow uh, the footage has gotten out. Jump out of the vehicle? Oh my god. Whew. All right, crashes. Yeah, they're sketchy, man. I was very lucky I wasn't injured, but it's still shocking and it's still scary going across that intersection. Uh, yeah, all right. Ciao, tschüss.